Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I am filming in my new home. <laughs> so a little bit of a life update. I want to say towards the end of August, I actually had a major life milestone of something that I've been working towards for a long time. I was able to purchase my very own condo here in San Francisco and I moved in early September, have been getting everything set up. So this is my first first video that I am filming in my new office, filming room, and loving the new background. Hope you guys enjoy it too. <laughs> but anyway, we are excited to try a brand new product today. So this was actually a suggestion from one of my followers. Thank you so much for sending me a suggestion in my DMs because she asked me if I've ever tried this product and I haven't before. It is one of those products that people are seeing a lot of on Instagram and hearing a lot of good things about it. It has really good reviews and it just sounds pretty amazing because it's called the Flawless Brush. <laughs> so it comes just like this, super simple. Let me open up the packaging. I do really enjoy that it comes in its own little carrying case situation because I feel like it's such a unique shape, but then this makes it really easy to keep its shape and not get messed up. And I have this like crazy makeup bag that I usually just throw things in. And so especially with traveling, hopefully we'll be able to get back to that travel life one of these days in the new future. This, it will be really easy to just like throw in my makeup bag and I know that it will be protected in its cute little case. Oh, it has like two little locks here on the side, which is cute. And then you open it up and ah, it's this beautiful brush. I've never seen a brush like this before, but I feel like it's made in this shape. So it just fits really nicely and you're able to blend in your foundation and you're able to hold it like this. I think somewhere, oh wow, <laughs> sorry, I just got distracted because this is my first time touching it and it is very soft. The bristles are very tightly compacted together, which I do enjoy in a facial brush because I've never actually owned a real artiste brush or anything like that, but it's like those paddle like oval face brushes. I ordered some off of Amazon a long time ago. I think you guys have probably seen it a couple times in some of my previous videos, but I really do enjoy using those to put on foundation because I don't feel like it sucks up a bunch of the foundation. Like if you were to use a beauty blender or something like that, yes, those blend out really nicely but I feel like it soaks in a lot of that product and you have to use more of it where this one doesn't soak in a lot of the product and really just helps buff it in is what I'm hoping this does. Let me pull them up online. It is supposed to create an airbrush finish with any foundation. Super soft bristles can definitely attest to that perfect application, some awesome before and after pics on here, and this petal brush handle is what they call it, and they say the petal shape handle allows easy usage without any slippage. It says voted 2019 top five foundation brushes. I don't know from where or who, but that sounds pretty good too. <laughs> it's versatile and Versatile? Versatile? How do you guys say that? Versatile and effective for an even coat. Precision tip. Like I do like this little pointy ends because it will help kind of blend the under eye and kind of like around the nose and any of those harder to bun places. Dense bristles. There's over 198,000 synthetic hair bristles for a soft residue free experience. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of bristles in there, girl. That is a lot of bristles. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm reading some of the reviews on here. There's tons of really good reviews, but I think people use it for all kinds of things, not only for liquid foundation, but it sounds like people use this for powder as well. So I'm going to try to use it for all the things today. Oh, and then the price of this bad boy. I believe a full price is $24.99, but I feel like there's always some sort of deal. Like right now it's 20% off for $19.99 and it comes in three colors. It comes in white, black, and pink. So just depends on how you feeling. I am excited to just give it a try and see how it goes, but I must say it feels promising. 
it feels promising. I know that is a bold statement, but it feels very promising. So I'm going to first prime my face with a little bit of the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. I like this because I feel like it makes my skin feel moisturized and it helps grip that foundation. So I'm just going to squirt some of this directly on my face. And then I'm going to use this brush to blend her in. Okay, so first thoughts, I do really enjoy the shape of it. I do feel like it is a kind of big enough surface of a brush that I feel like it covers a lot of surface and I'll, I'm able to blend out that primer really quickly. But I do feel like this brush was able to just provide coverage all over my face really evenly and really quickly. So that is a good sign. So before I jump into the foundation, I'm going to bring you guys really close and personal. <laughs> all right guys, I am nice and close so you can see it all go down. I'm not usually a person that wears super, super high coverage. I'm kind of like a medium to light coverage kind of gal. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of this tinted moisturizer. Pretty high coverage for a tinted moisturizer, but this is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen, and I am in the color Medium 2 Annapurna right now, I think. So we'll see how the color is, but to be fully, completely honest with you, I don't know if you guys checked out my video on my mask makeup routine, because we have to wear masks when we're out and about now. I don't really put foundation on my face right now, just because I wanna keep my skin as fresh as possible and clean underneath that mask so it doesn't cause breakouts. So I haven't really been using foundation a lot, but hopefully this is a a pretty good color right now. But usually what I do is I just squirt a little bit of this foundation onto my finger and then I like to put it on like war paint a little bit. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people do like dots but I like to kind of just make sure that I put it on a little bit like war paint and then I go in with a brush to blend it out. So I know the color looks a little bit dark for me right now, but I do like to go with a color that's a little bit darker because it is a pretty light coverage and I like for it to add a little bit of like a tan in color to my face. And then I'm gonna go in with this brush. You can see it nice up close and personal. It does have that synthetic brush sheen to it, but honestly, very, very thick and very soft. Okay, that blended her out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always remember to drag the color down into your neck. You don't wanna be that girl that has that line right there, girl. Mm -mm. All right, I feel like it definitely blended out the foundation very quickly and I feel like it does look pretty even and really do enjoy this tip that helped me get under the eye and into the nose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just really trying to test it out to see if it can really do it all. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on and try to blend out the concealer and how that goes. I'm obsessed with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Color Corrector situation. I'm in the color light. You just twist and the concealer ends up in this little poof and then you could just dab some of that onto your under eye.
Oh my, that was really fast and I thought that this shade might be a little bit too big to blend out the under eye concealer, but it definitely worked really nicely. I'm kind of doing like this dab and buff action here. Trying not to drag the under eye too much. Wow, but that seriously is the fastest way to blend out that concealer. Wow, and then seriously, when you like look at the brush, there isn't like a lot of concealer, like my concealer is pretty light and you're not seeing a ton of that product on the brush, so you know that the product is staying on the under eye. Okay, while we're going in, why don't I go in and set the under eye with some powder with this brush. Again, I am obsessed with this Charlotte Tilbury. This is a mouthful, the Airbrush Flawless, every time I can't say it, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro, third time's a charm. Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the color Fair. It is a great powder, you guys. I love using it to set the under eye. It does a really great job at brightening and setting it and never any creasing or anything at all. So I'm just going to dip this brush in here and see how it goes. Ooh, definitely don't need to push too hard. I got a, a lot on here. Dab, dab, dab. Mm-hmm. Yes, that worked amazingly too. Okay, what else can I use it for? Why don't I use it to set my entire face? I like to use this sometimes when I'm on the go and I don't wanna carry like a loose powder. This is the It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. It's just a translucent powder and I just use a little bit of it. I think this one is like my third one and I just like to use this to set a little bit of like my face just to get rid of that shine from that liquid skin tint. Okay, so that definitely worked, but I didn't like it for setting the face with powder as much just because the brush is definitely pretty dense, right? And so it's not going to be like a beauty blender where it's going to be like contouring on your face when you do that. So it felt a little bit stiff and like I couldn't really get the powder on there like nice and fluffily, <laughs> if that makes sense. Definitely not a word, but hopefully you get what I mean. It does hold on to a lot of the powder but doesn't hold on to a lot of the liquid. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup really quickly and I'll come back for final thoughts. All right, guys, I am back. So I added a little bit of brow and I did some of my lash glue liner. If you guys haven't tried that out, please check out my video. It is life-changing, but it's eyeliner that also doubles as my lash glue. Added some lashes, a little bit of blush, and a little bit of gloss and called it a day. I must say, you guys, I am I'm pretty impressed by this brush. I think what is really different about it is its shape. It just kind of fits right in your hand and you're able to like contour it around your nose. Definitely have tried things that are very similar like my set of oval brushes that I purchased off of Amazon. I'll try to find something similar. I did buy those years ago so I'll try to find something similar if the original link isn't available. Set on Amazon is definitely a lot of bang for your buck. You get a big set set for similar brushes like this, but these brushes are really great for putting on foundation. They blend out really easily, no weird streaks or anything like that. And the really great part of it is that it really helps your product go a long way. It doesn't soak up a lot of that liquid foundation, really just helps buff and blend out onto your skin and not soaking a bunch of that 
product into the brush. Also something very, very special about this is the actual shape of it. Again, I know I said it a couple times already, but this shape of it, instead of like a standard oval brush that doesn't really get under the eye, this one is a little bit more of like a pointed, like an eye, like oval shape. <laughs> and so it sneaks right under the eye really well. So again, what is very unique about this is its size and shape, the way that it's in your hand. And I must say the way that this blended out my concealer and you could use this for the powder that the concealer as well. Very, very impressed. And I must say my skin looks very nice. It does give me this really even airbrush complexion. The only thing that I did on my face that wasn't with this was a little bit of blush because I used a blush brush for that. You guys, this is pretty cool. Flawless brush, very into it. I'll be sure to link this in the description box below and all the other stuff and videos that I mentioned as well. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And as always, please take care of yourselves and each other and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.